Alright, so I'm going to explain a little bit about uh, Sweet Child of Mine. So, and um, here's an explanation about how to do the little intro part, okay? So this is just the very first part. So it's going to be, um, they don't play up here like this. But to make it easier, have it down first fret. Make it easier for people. So it's going to be open D, so fourth string. And then we're going to play third fret, second string. So. And then we're going to play third string, second fret. And then uh, zero. So it's like this. Uh, train that much just over and over again until you get really good so okay now the second part okay so the second part is this and what I recommend doing is uh, putting your pinky on the third fret first string okay now it's going to involve skipping strings here, so after this note, I want you to hold that note and then put down your 2nd finger on the 2nd fret, 3rd uh, string, so it's and what you want to do is you're going to leave your 2nd finger down and then put down your 3rd finger, on. so put down your 3rd finger on the second fret first string so it should be like this so again slowly so let's try combining everything together here we go song. Now the song, the verse part is really not that all that hard. All it is is a D chord. Right? Um, and then the C chord. So you can play C chord like this where you put your first finger on the, you know, second string, and then third, uh, second finger on the fourth string, third finger on the fifth string. Then. But what I like is the a C chord, kind of like that G chord shape, like this. I think so. So I'm gonna play like this D, C. Because after the C chord, you guys to the G chord, which is just with the first and second finger, just down the string. Like so. so it's D, C, G. And each one we're gonna play uh, four times. Now, uh, C. It's not four times, but a total of eight times, so two measures. Okay, so it's gonna be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, the C, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, the G, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, to back to D. Okay. So if 
you can just simply just string just all down strumming four times. But if you're getting good at like playing down up down up like eighth, eighth notes, what you can do is down up down up. If you're counting eighth notes, one and two and and four and one and two and and four and so there's like a little syncopation in the middle there. So it'll sound something like this: one, two, three, four. So the chorus will sound something like this. 